with some of the world's best competitors hitting the lineup like Gabrielle O'Brien and Luana Silva right now. Yeah, I've seen people on the beach that are from all around Australia, actually, that have just come to watch this event. And I'm sure, Rochelle, you've probably had a lot of experience here with some big crowds. You had some pretty crazy results in your career. And it looks like for the moment, both Gabby and Luana just a little bit out of position or maybe that wave doesn't quite have the shape and the look that they wanted to. Now we're going to see them jockeying for oh. position. It's Luana Silva taking that first drop for the North Shore local off the island of Oahu and setting herself up for a nice bit of rail work into that slower carve. And now she's going to look for this section to stand up. There's always this patient moment now waiting it out for that next corner to really start nice. capitalizing on. Great car for Luana, linking it together through the inside. She's really a sturdy surfer on her feet, has a lot of composure for her young age of just 17 years old. And she continues to have a lot on offer. Great wave selection for her letting that first one in the set go through. She mistimes the finish, Jess, and goes down. But wow, incredible performance, Rochelle, for first of Luana Silva. How good is to see that tenaciousness, the aggressiveness of the Hawaiian ladies just jostling for that first position. She gets some really nice critical work done when this thing starts to steepen up. Right there, nice rail work, plenty of power. Rochelle, you've seen a, a fair bit of her surf as well. Luana, what are your thoughts on this in, in level of what she's got left to offer? I mean, she does a lot of rail work, but I feel like that's only just kind of shifting up into maybe second or third gear for her perhaps. For sure, she's building momentum. She's a powerful surfer. She's, you know, using some nice techniques, some grace with it. Um, you know, you don't want to like let it out the bag too quick, and then you know you got this long. Way. You know, you can see right at the end, her legs got maybe just a little bit tired, and she got ahead of herself. And here we go with Brianna, uh, with Gabby Bryan. Yeah, <laughs> so Gabby. Bryan. Gabby gets a look at this one. We didn't get to see it in live action. We're getting to now check it out for the first time on the replay. And man, she's just hammering it through. Some great shape, even though it's a yeah. smaller wave. All the way through to the inside. Jess? This, yeah, this is another one she's picked up coming through the inside as well. So straight off the bat of the first wave, she just gets a bit more stuck into that rail work. And two turns already on the board for Gabriella. And I think the key is, is to not do it with ego, to do it with like a humble confidence and knowing what to take away from it and, and what not to, you know, is really key. As we see Gabby Bryan with an opportunity in front of her, she kicks out that wave just closing out really quickly. It goes to Gabriella Bryan, who is in the priority heat now in the back 20 minutes of her 40 minute heat. She goes straight up into the lip. Nice and smooth, connects those first couple of turns together and just waves down the jet side. This one from Gabriella, I, I feel like she could have hit the bottom a little bit more on this one, but she's still so, you know, wrapping with the rail and uh, and keeping fluid throughout the wave. Um, that that priority, sorry, now that that second heat has hit the lineup, we do have jet ski assist entering and straight into the lip. Luana Silva answers back. Great, beautiful engagement of the rail. Goes in for another powerful carve. And similar turns connected together out on, a, just kind of out on the face of the wave. And now digging back into the rail there. That was a, a really great wave strung together for Luana Silva. First exchange actually before I go into the priority stuff. Look at that Rochelle, first turn nice and critical. Second right up high in the lip and then what do you think of the end of this wave? Yeah, I think that that second turn hung her up a little bit, and then she had to play a little bit of catch up. But the wave is just top to bottom and beautiful. It gives her the opportunity to wrap it around and uh, get some good sections in, um, and really like make sure she's like she's really staying on rail. And we did just receive news before coming back into these heats that we've got those wild card announcements for the rest of the championship tour season for the WSL. We'll get back to it in a moment because there's just some more live action down the line, Gabby has priority. And she's gonna have a look at this one. Nice. Keeping Luana Silva off of it, she digs into that rail on the first turn. Big wrap back in for the second one. Again, isn't taking those super deep bottom turns, but she's now just setting herself up for this more stand-up section down the way. Connects with the lip and nice. goes in for a Sally-style punch for that next section. More on offer here for Brian as she now drops in deep for that bottom turn, snap off the top. 
and really laying it hard on the rail. It kind of destroys that line for the rest of the way, so they're ahead of it. So much action out in the lineup. Gabrielle O'Brien got another piece of it here. She's looking to build on that backup score of a 3.5. She opened up on that 7.50, and this wave continued to stand up for her on the inside, Jess. Yeah, there's that nice, deep bottom turn Rochelle was speaking about, and just a bit more aggression into the next section. So, good way for her. It's definitely going to go into the top two. Plenty of work done. Bit of variety of repertoire as well, and laid right into the final maneuver. So, let's see what it locks in as. Rochelle. That was solid. That was a long ride. Here we go again. Luana Silva now down the way would have taken off on the next wave in the set with some great scoring opportunity here. She's going to drive off the bottom up into the lip, keeping it smooth. And now you can see that real aggression and that flare coming into her surfing, Jess. Excellent range. I feel like she needs to just kind of stop chasing that wave in front of her. For but sure. Staying in the pocket, like really getting that pocket surfing and like trust that you're going to like make that section if you accelerate through your turns. Yeah, exactly. And like Luana, she's done a lot of good open face work as well. And, and just like you said, Michelle, just have a, having that trust to stick back into the pocket, like she starts to do here when she's fading back a little bit and being a bit more patient, like that bottom turn, so much more critical, so much more connected. And it leads her into a better line to finish off that wave as well. Even though she didn't complete it, it just made a better line. You can have a look on the replay in the slow-mo. When, when I feel like I've seen a little bit when the surface get has second priority. She needs to duck out of the way for heat number one with Gabby using her priority to block Luana from that wave, Rochelle. Isabella in there for her second year on the championship tour, but finally getting victory in her first CT and then knowing that Gabby just in her rookie season was getting an opportunity. We'll get back to that in just a moment because I'd love to know your thoughts, but we've got the style queen out of the North Shore of Oahu digging the rail through for Luana Silva. Linking it together for a second, you can see that wind is really just playing with the froth on the face of the wave. She's being really nice and smooth, patient, opening up that wingspan as she directs herself back into the power, now cutting through, looking for that link, and the wave's going to fizzle out. It's been one-to-one -one between Gabby and Luana so far in their career, and now Gabby's getting a second one to her, which is pretty exciting. It's going to continue happening for many years. <laughs> you still got a few matchups um, to settle or scores to settle under your belt, I'm sure, with the former competitors from your era. Yeah, for sure. I'm just waiting for them to hold the next Masters again. <laughs>